Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Azure and creating a virtual machine with multiple NICs. It's kind of weird with the portal because you can't really do it. And the only way to actually create an Azure virtual machine with two virtual NICs is with PowerShell. So I'm actually logged into my portal right now. And I want to show you guys right now, if I go to virtual machines, there's nothing in it right here. And let's go inside my network interfaces. There's no interfaces in there. Uh, if I go inside my storage on my disk, there's no disk. If I go inside my virtual networks, there's nothing. Well, there's something in there, but we're going to use the power of PowerShell to do all this stuff because it works well. Now, don't worry about it because I'm going to leave a link at the very bottom so you guys can grab the PowerShell script that I'm going to show you guys right now. And all you have to do is modify the script to work on, within your environment. Now, the first script is right here. And this is going to create a resource group. I'm not going to run it because I already have a resource group. So it doesn't really matter to me to do it right now. So what I'm going to do right now is create two virtual subnets and I'm actually calling them my subnet front end and then my subnet back end. And the actual name of them within the Azure portal is going to be my subnet front end and my subnet back end. So I'm going to highlight these two. And the address prefix for the front end is going to be 192.168.1.0. And the back end address prefix is going to be 192.168.2. Okay, two different subnets. So we are going to hit this guy right here or F8 to run that particular selection. Awesome. So it's done. And the next thing that we need to do is create a virtual network with our subnets. We need to assign those subnets to something. So we're going to run this guy right here. And we're actually going to call it my VNet. My location is going to be the East US, but this might change for your environment. And the address prefix is going to be a 192.168.0.0. And for the subnet, I'm assigning my subnet front end and my back end to this particular uh, virtual network. So we are going to do F8 again to run this particular section. All right, it looks like the script uh, was completed. So we're going to go inside our portal. And I'm already inside the virtual network, so I'm going to do a refresh. And then there you go, my V network. Now, if I click on it and I go inside subnets, now within subnet, you're going to see our two subnets that we created with PowerShell, front end and back end, with the address range that we did within the prefix, which is awesome. So let's go back inside our PowerShell. And now we're going to create two network interfaces. So let's go back into the portal, click on network interfaces, and I have nothing in there, not yet. So let's go inside PowerShell and I'm going to highlight these two guys right here. Awesome. They're going to be called my Nick one and my Nick two. And for the subnet ID, my Nick one is going to be assigned to the front end subnet. And for my Nick two, the subnet ID is going to be assigned to the back end. So I'm going to just click run this selection. Looks like the command line was completed. Let's go back inside our portal and we're going to do a refresh. And there it goes. How awesome is that? Cool, right? We're going to go back inside our PowerShell because now what we need to do is create our virtual machine. What we're going to do is create a variable and assign that variable to get credentials. So this is basically the same thing that you do within your Azure portal. When you're creating your virtual machine, you need to assign a username and password to remote into that machine. So I'm going to run this commandlet. It's going to give me a nice little dialog box to enter my username and the password. Awesome. We're going to click OK and we're done. OK, so once you set your credentials, your username and password, what you need to do is we need to define our virtual machine. So this guy right here is going to define my virtual machine and I'm going to call it my VM and it's going to be a standard D1. OK, it really depends on your environment. So make sure you pick the correct VM size. So I'm going to run this particular selection and it's completed right away. Awesome. After you define your virtual machine, we need to create the virtual machine. So this command line right here does the following. We're doing a Windows. We're giving a computer name of my VM. We're actually using the credential attribute and using the variable that we assign the, the username and password within that dialog box. We're doing a provision VM agent. We're enabling auto update and we're also telling it that we're using a Microsoft Windows server and it's a 2016 data center with the latest edition. Now, if I go inside my Azure portal and click on the virtual machine node, there's nothing in there. I'm going to click on refresh, nothing. Let's go back inside our PowerShell and we're going to run this commandlet right now. Let's press F8. It's done. Awesome. Then 
what we need to do is that virtual machine that we just created with PowerShell, we need to tell it that we want to use those virtual network and those subnets, but make sure that whatever network you have, like right now I'm assigning my NIC one to be the primary one. Okay. That is the one that we're going to establish internet access and remote access into. So make sure you assign it to primary. So we're going to run this commandlet done. And to finalize everything, to actually create the virtual machine with our virtual networks, with our multiple network adapters, we need to run this particular commandlet and I'm going to run it. Now this process takes a while. So I kind of recommend you to go get a cup of coffee. And then once it's completed, we're going to go back inside Azure portal and take a look. All right. It looks like our commandlet is completed and it says, okay, what a status that is awesome. So let's go back inside our Azure portal and let's do a refresh. And there goes our virtual machine. Awesome. And it's running. So we're going to click on it and we're going to go inside our network interfaces and my Nick one and my Nick two is assigned. But the only problem is, is we need to create or assign or associate a public IP address. So you can remote into this virtual machine. Other than that, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, how to create an Azure VM with multiple NICs using the power of PowerShell. I will leave the link at the bottom of the description so you guys can get a copy of the PowerShell script that I use. All you have to do is just go inside, make modifications. And if you add other things to it, like maybe uh, attach your virtual machine with a network security group or also associate a public IP address. I've been trying to figure that out in my part, but if you figure it out, do share the script because I would love to see how that works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.